Hey guys, Joe Plater here from EA Group in Queensland. Just want to run through all the new features on the SV Baco, the new model that's out over the ST. There's some really uh, distinctive changes here in the cab mainly. Uh, we've certainly got more uh, bigger cab in here now, but also the layout and some of the features as well that um, uh, are different, but also have been added into the SV over the ST model. So I'll just start over here. So the dash um, is similar. Uh, we got fuel, we got uh, engine temp, we got tranny temp, we got uh, taco and speedo and then our voltage as well. But we've also, at, um, through the steering wheel now, we've also got our speedo as well. So you're not looking down there. So it's actually got a speedo there as well. Uh, the handbrake is different as well to the old style. Um, this is a newer style, which I think is a lot more heavier duty. Um, the big thing as well is we got uh, the gear shift lever very much like our wheel loaders um, so that you're not reaching down on the column to select forward, neutral or reverse. You can now hit the switch and then use it on your loader um, joystick which then's also got the kick down button and the diff lock button there as well as your 4 and one um, it's still got the, the uh, return to dig and uh, the bucket control as well in the arm there. So a little bit better comfort uh, there as well. Um, and we've got the horn there as well now. The other big thing as well is a lot more room in the, um, in the cab now. So once you have to swing around and you, you'd, you'd have to juggle your knees and try and push through, definitely a lot more room there. Uh, got a big toolbox in here as well now. So you can put documents or uh, grease gun, change, whatever you need in there, as well as the toolbox outside, which was the same as the ST. We've got our uh, washer bottle in here now as well. Um, the big, not too much difference at the back end here. Still got your changeover pattern, still got your uh, pilot pressure engagement. But on here, we've got our auto down uh, revs, so you can hit that and it'll automatically idle down or idle up. You've got your auxiliaries, and then we've got our extender hose function to extend the hoe in and out if you haven't got your pin in and then our horn on there as well. Um, the other thing as well on this side here is we've got, which is very similar to the old one, but uh, this is unlock your center mount and then you've got your hydraulics to push that backwards and forward. Diagnostic tools to go into the screen, your lights and then obviously your boom lock there as well and rear window wiper and your throttle. So, a lot, not so much outside in the cab. The bonnet's a little bit different as well now. Uh, a lot better design, I think, in there. The running of the running gear and everything else is pretty well the same. The air conditioner has been upgraded in them as well. So that's another big plus in this unit as well. Um, so yeah, apart from that guys, outside wise, um, they're pretty well the same as the XT. It's just really inside the cab and some really nice new features and the layout, a lot more room to get in and around them as well. So anyway, I uh, just thought I'd just run through a few of those things here. Um, let you guys know what's happening. Cheers.